Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this lesson, we'll be solving our last functional equation using the circle method. But this time, the circle will not be as simple as it was in the previous two examples. This time, the circle will be much larger than what we had done earlier. So what are we waiting for? Let's draw some circles. So in this problem, we're asked to find all functions f from r to r such that the following three functional equations hold. The first is f of minus x equals minus f of x. In other words, the functional f is an odd function. The second one is f of x plus 1 equals f of x plus 1, which is a really beautiful equation. And the third is f of the reciprocal of x is equal to f of x over x squared. So, in other words, we have three functional equations that we need to combine them together in order to draw a circle that starts with x, so we always start with x as usual, and we end with an x. And we will do this using these three processes. Well, if you look at the three functional equations uh, in a more, much more simpler way, you can see that uh, we can do the three processes. We can either find the value of f of minus x, and we can find the value of f of x plus 1, or actually, we can find the value of plus or minus 1. So we can find the value of f of x plus 1 and f of x minus 1 because of this functional equation. And we can also find the value of the reciprocal of x. So we will do a bunch of these three processes, 1, 2, and 3, in order to create this circle that starts with x and ends with an x. Actually, we can simplify things by noticing that it is useless to do any process of these three twice consecutively. Well, because if you take the minus x twice, you will end up with x. And the same holds for the second and third process. So we can say that we will never do a process twice. So for example, if we, uh, if we take uh, the reciprocal of x, we will not take the reciprocal of x. We will just have uh, one of these two processes to choose from. So try guessing this circle, try drawing it yourself, and if you can, then give yourself a pat on the back because it's really hard. And if you can't, then don't worry because we'll be drawing this circle together. So let's start drawing our circle. The first process that we'll be doing is adding a 1. So let's write here x plus 1. And actually, this right here, the last process, won't be adding or subtracting a 1. Because we said earlier that we will not do a process twice consecutively. So this can be either taking the negative of x or uh, it can be uh, taking the reciprocal of x. Okay, so now we've added 1. So we will not choose the second. So we will choose either the first or the third. Well, no matter of what we choose, let's, for example, choose the third one. So let's take the reciprocal of x plus 1. Now, if we take the negative of uh, 1 over x plus 1, it's just like choosing the negative here and then uh, taking the reciprocal. It's just the same. So let's now take the negative. So minus 1 over x plus 1. So now we will need uh, to start from minus 1 over x plus 1 and end with x. So how can we create an x using this? And of course, by not going backwards. Uh, to do this, we can simply add a 1 again. So here we've added a 1. Here we have used the second. Here we have used the third. And here we have used the first. So let's 
redo this, let's take the second process. You can see actually that if we added a 1, then this will be x over x plus 1. Now you should start to see the light. Because uh, if you do uh, lots of algebra, you, you will notice that this is really similar to x. And we can obtain x from here by simply uh, taking the reciprocal and then subtracting a 1 and then taking the reciprocal again. So let's do this. So now we'll take the reciprocal, which will be x plus 1 over x, which is actually nothing but more than 1 plus 1 over x. Okay. So now it's really simple or straightforward. We will just simply subtract 1 to get 1 over x. And then this is nothing but taking the reciprocal of 1 over 1 of x. Over x. Okay. So now let's write the numbers of processes. So here we have taken the second process. Here is the third. Here is the first. And here we just add the 1. So it's the second. And here we, take, we took the reciprocal, which is the third. And here we, what did we do here? Uh, we just subtract 1. So this is the second. And here, of course, this is the third process. So now we've obtained our circle. What's next is to check whether this circle is really effective. Uh, in other words, whether it solves the problem or not. Because I can create an infinite number of circles that do not solve the problem. For example, consider this circle, x, x plus 1. And then uh, we take the reciprocal. And then we retake the reciprocal and then subtract to 1. Well, this is a circle. We start from x and end with an x, but this does not solve the problem. So we need to check whether this circle solves the problem and uh, do these processes in our hands and find the value of f of x if it really solves the problem. So let's start substituting our circle using the three functional equations. Okay, so the first, the first uh, process is f of x plus 1. And here we have uh, the functional equation, the second functional equation. is simply f of x plus 1 equals f of x plus 1. So we need not to write this. So the second one is f of 1 over x plus 1. Now this is f of 1 over x plus 1. This equals uh, f of x plus 1 over x plus 1 squared. And since f of x plus 1 equals f of x plus 1 over x plus 1 squared. So now we have evaluated this f, f of 1 over x plus 1. So let's do the second step, which is evaluating the negative of this. So now we have f of minus 1 over x plus 1 is actually, since the function is odd, is just minus f of x plus 1 over x plus 1 squared. Okay, so now we have evaluated this f, the f of this. Now we need to evaluate this f of x over x plus 1. So here we just added a 1, so we will simply write f of x over x plus 1. This is f of 1 plus this, which means that it is the, this plus 1. So this equals 1 minus f of x plus 1 over x plus 1 squared. Because we just added 1. Okay, so now we need to evaluate this by taking the reciprocal. So now we have f of 1 plus the reciprocal of x equals f of this over x squared, which means that this equals f of x plus x plus 1 
over x over x plus 1 square. So let's substitute this with its value. This equals 1 minus f of x plus 1 over x plus 1 square over x square. Well, actually, you can multiply here the denominator uh, by x plus 1 square. We can multiply both the numerator and the denominator by x plus 1 square to find that uh, it cancels this. So to simplify things, we can erase this. And this now is simply x plus 1 square. That's much more simpler. So let's evaluate this. Uh, f of 1 plus 1 over x equals. Okay, so that is x square plus 2x minus f of x over x square. So now we have evaluated this f, and now we need to evaluate this, which is simply subtracting 1. So to find the value of f of 1 over x, we need just to subtract this uh, by 1, and here we will uh, get rid of this x square, so we will ha simply have 2 times x minus f of x over x square. And now the last step is the value of f of x. Uh, now we need just to take the reciprocal, so that is the third uh, functional equation, which means that f of x equals f of 1 of x, which is this 2x, 2 times x, minus f of x over x squared. So that is the f of 1 of, over x over 1 over x squared, which means that here we have 1 over x squared. 1 over x squared. So multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by x squared, this will be equal to, uh, since we will cancel this x squared, 2 times x minus f of x. So now we just have this simple functional equation. f of x equals 2 times x minus f of x, which means that f of x equals x. So f is the identity function. So let's check. Is f of x equal, equals x uh, a solution? Well, f of minus x equals minus x, and minus f of x equals minus x. So the first functional equation holds. The second is really clear. And the third is x over x squared, which is 1 over x, which is the value of f of 1 over x. So yes, the identity function is the solution of this problem. And our big circle, our large circle, was indeed the solution of this problem. So the moral of this lesson is the circle method is a powerful tool to solve functional equations. So you need to always think of it or keep it in your mind when solving a functional equation. Because when the right time comes, the circle method will definitely solve your problem. So far, we have solved five functional equations, and the time has finally come. The next problem will be an IMO contest problem. So get ready. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And see you guys in the next lesson.